Hello, Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. Thanks for joining Facebook live class on communicative English. Dear students, do you hear me? Do you hear me please? It's okay. Anyway, uh, if you don't listen to me, please let me know, dropping comments on the comments box. All right, I uh, hope you are all very good in your home. So let's have a good start with lesson. By the way, uh, in my last two lectures, I talked a lot about writing a good paragraph. I tried to make you understand how to write a good paragraph there. Therefore, I introduced audio video clips and gave you an example of a set paragraph showing how a topic sentence, support sentences, and finally concluding sentence can be incorporated in a paragraph. And how a narrative paragraph can be written uh, applying the technique of contrast, persuasion, illustration, cause effect, and comparison method. In addition, regarding the editing part and fine tuning, I try to show both uh, manual and digital systems. I have shown the procedure of correcting your writing task, introducing correcting subject. I mean, grammarly, a uh, grammar checker. Hope you have practiced in your home and already adapted with the technology. Dear students, today we will try to practice writing a new paragraph and see how our paragraph can be a good piece of writing step by step. So let's see what happens to the lesson 10 in lecture 11 and get started. Okay, all right. Uh, so far, I guess that you are watching the first slide. And usually, uh, what I say, that is, it is communicative English. And uh, subject code is 65722. And ultimately, uh, we have some objectives of uh, studying this uh, course and uh, after completion of this uh, course our students will be able to develop their creative writing ability and they'll be capable to transfer their information ideas and knowledge and ultimately their communicative competence will be developed okay in the workplace situation or in a real life situations. Okay, uh, here you see lesson 10, uh, lecture 11. In today's lesson, we will focus on no vocabulary phrases related to weather of Bangladesh. Okay, it's very common to all. And uh, ultimately focus goes to uh, practice writing a paragraph on weather of Bangladesh, know how to check writing tasks using correction software. And then these are our usual practice. Uh, I mean, uh, we go for writing tasks and that is uh, almost mandatory for homework. And uh, practice speaking in group online with the topics given for group discussions. You will be given a topic today also, and you will uh, discuss uh, among your friends, with your friends. Okay, dear students, uh, don't forget to use headphones while you listen to me. Okay, uh, go for the next slide. And uh, you see types and parts of the paragraph. In my last two lectures, I talked a lot about the types and parts of the paragraph, uh, I want to skip uh, giving a short brief, that is, uh, you know, what is descriptive paragraph, uh, what is narrative paragraph. Narrative paragraph 
is meant to entertain it tells a story simply it tells a story okay and uh, uh, the techniques or the uh, parts that belongs to a paragraph is very important that is uh, a good paragraph uh, belongs to three main part that is topic sentence supporting details closing sentence and in uh, among these uh, some linguists say that uh, it needs to have uh, a transitory line okay so let's see what happens to the paragraph and uh, you know what is topic sentence uh, in my last lecture i discussed about uh, topic sentence in detail but uh, uh, here is uh, you see again i want to uh, let you remember that what the topic sentence means the topic sentence is the first sentence in a paragraph uh, it introduces main idea and uh, it generate interest to the writer and it state the main idea also and uh, how do i write topic sentence okay that is very important also first you have to summarize the main idea of your paragraph and uh, indicate to the reader what your paragraph will be okay so uh, directly i don't want to go for describing supporting details closing sentence okay uh, just uh, an example is given here and uh, i have talked about this example uh, in my last lecture and uh, uh, in this paragraph some uh, sentences are marked in different colors so that you can uh, pick the very topic sentence supporting details closing sentence okay the first sentence is red and actually this is the topic sentence and then first second third sentences are the supporting details uh, you see and finally um, uh, canada's canada cities are clean and efficiently managed canadian cities have many parks and lots of a space for people to live this is also a supporting sentence and you see uh, what i said in my last class and you have observed or you have listened to the audio video clips from the native speaker that the topic sentence emphasize one topic okay and next you will get the supporting sentence in support of that very uh, information and finally the concluding line or conclusion is nothing but the rephrase of the topic sentence but in a different way okay in a different form and these are all very important okay this is these are the technique of writing a good paragraph okay so uh, let's go for the next slide and then um, for writing a good paragraph we use linkers okay that is called sometimes connectors or uh, transition words <clears throat> actually these are the very ornamented words it makes our paragraph looking good it makes our paragraph uh, uh, it sounds good okay so uh, i also talked about this matter uh, in my last lecture just you just have a look okay uh, for your recollection i have just introduced this slide and then uh, editing part this is a very most important part of writing a good paragraph okay in this stage uh mm, you you must check your paragraph for mistakes and correction and uh, uh, see what are the points to be mentioned there first check your grammar then read your paragraph okay uh read your paragraph again and again make sure this sentence as a subject okay see if your subjects and verbs agree with each other check the verb tenses of each sentence check your spelling make sure that each sentence makes a sense okay here is a technique 
of uh, remembering how you can edit your paragraph if you remember one word that is curves you can see here are some curves okay if you remember the very word uh, curves then uh, you can uh, easily uh, remember the details of uh, the editing terms that is uh, where we have to give emphasis in terms of editing okay so um, you see C stands for capitals, meaning that you have to check uh, the words whether uh, it is capital or a small. If the capital letter is appropriate, of course you have to uh, write in capital letters. If it is not, you have to ignore it, you have to avoid it. Okay, then you. U stands for understanding. Okay, all right. This is very uh, important because if you fail to make a sense, developing sense in your paragraph, your reader will not feel comfort while they will read it or while they will listen to it. Okay, and then punctuation is, of course, very important punctuation hope you do understand what is the meaning of punctuation punctuation means comma colon semicolon okay question mark these are called punctuation and it stands for spelling and this is very important you see uh, spelling mistakes is considered very seriously uh, when you uh, go for writing a paragraph in your exam of course the spelling uh, bears a very important part okay so go for the next here our main paragraph as i mentioned at the very beginning i mean in second slide that today we will go for writing uh, uh, a, a new paragraph okay so our today's topic is weather of Bangladesh you see uh, I have written a paragraph this is before editing okay this is a raw paragraph I mean I have not edited uh, yet so uh, I, I found uh, some mistakes you see in this paragraph 17 issues of writing mistakes found okay you see some uh, some 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 uh, places or some words are uh, reddened you see colored okay that means uh, here some mistakes are there okay so uh, in this paragraph we got 17 17 issues of writing mistakes uh, found likely grammar punctuation spelling enhancement style sentence structure and plagiarism so uh, so far, so far I remember when uh, in, in our last class when we checked the set paragraph, we got a serious mistake. That is, the our uh, correction software detected a serious mistake of plagiarism. Plagiarism means uh, if you copy uh, any sentences or any statement from uh, some other writings. Then ultimately, this is called uh, plagiarism. Okay, and if you use that very sentences or quotes without giving information of the writer, then it is, it must be considered as a serious offense that is called plagiarism. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, now we are going to have a check. Uh, it can be manually. It can be digitally. As I mentioned, that uh, we have a great correction software. If we uh, don't feel confident that my paragraph is not uh, doing well, okay. So uh, to develop our confidence, we can have a check using correction software, right? So uh, let's see what happens. This uh, paragraph. Okay, uh, you see, as I said in my uh, 
uh, last slide that uh, it was the very raw paragraph and uh, when I uh, drag and drop on the software it found 17 writing issues okay uh, and uh, as I said that the issues were grammar punctuation spelling enhancement style sentence structure and plagiarism but very fortunate we are today here that uh, uh, it gets no plagiarism that is because we have developed the paragraph of our own we have not quoted any line we have not quoted any statement from any others writing okay so no plagiarism here right so um, so let's see what happens gradually when we go for editing in the second stage okay in the second stage we have edited we have refined a little bit and we found here only 14 writing issues that means the the uh, the mistakes are being uh, decreasing so uh, here we got uh, some grammar mistakes punctuation mistakes no spelling mistakes uh, enhancement uh, a little bit word choice this is not so important not so um, uh, important okay in terms of writing uh, because sometimes machine does not read your mind so uh, he may not there may not have a, uh, may not have similarities of choice so he find it out the machine find it out for oh, what choice okay so it's not so important okay and then um, go for the next slide what happens to the next stage of editing okay wow that's great we got only 12 we found only 12 writing issues in your text okay so gradually we are uh, manually and uh, digitally we are having check uh, the grammar to make it a good art of writing so in this stage we have only 12 mistakes you see so our mistakes is decreasing the same paragraph i have used the same paragraph but uh, in different stages i have just directed okay so i am just let you show how you can edit your paragraph before publishing okay and then that's it's great to see that we have uh, only 11 writing issues okay and gradually you see we started from 17 issues and it uh, goes for 14 then 12 then 11 and what happens next you see okay all right dear students we got the final draft okay and uh, i hope that uh, you will not find more than five to six percent errors and it is uh, fine it is good to have only five to six percent errors because for the native uh, for out of the native uh, learners i mean we are not the native learners we are the foreign learners so it is good to have uh, mistakes not more than uh, five to six or ten percent it is not possible for the foreign writer or foreign speaker or foreign user of language to correct hundred percent if, if you write this paragraph in your uh, exam i'm sure you will get more than 90 percent number okay so let's see what happens okay mm, we have finished writing and now it's the time to judge the paragraph okay then how you will judge it it is fine tuning at the at the last stage of writing paragraph okay so you have to give emphasis on the following points that is what is the main idea of this paragraph of course you have to remember that before publishing you should have a look 
considering the following points that can make you writing a finished product okay a good piece of uh, writing so uh, let's see what happens uh, to the points in, in, in the stage of fine tuning or in the stage of judging the paragraph okay so what is the main idea of this paragraph so you have to check the idea you want to develop is uh, developed clearly right and then what do you notice about the first line of the paragraph does it require the characteristics of topic sentence of course you have to take care of the um, topic sentence and its criteria okay do all the sentences in the paragraph support the main idea and come to the supporting ideas okay so you have to uh, look at very carefully that if the supporting uh, sentences are supporting details support the main idea okay so what is the first main point see second main point you see third main points okay so uh, uh, you can see uh, when we developed a new paragraph how it is described okay and then what transition words are used did you use any transition words or transition line okay does the starting word of a sentence repeat more than twice yes we have a mistake though but uh, yes we have a mistake we have used one sentence or the same sentence or same type of sentence uh, in our paragraph what I finished right now okay so it's a, a mistakes but uh, it's not so a big mistakes okay but try to avoid it okay right check that all your sentences focus says focus on the main idea of course you have to you have to remember one that if all the sentences focuses or whether all the sentences focuses on the main idea and then what is the concluding sentence it this is very 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 important uh, uh, for us to uh, recognize or mention the concluding sentences because concluding sentence have some uh, characteristics and uh, of course you have to follow it okay if you want to write a good paragraph and then see if your paragraph is interesting that's that is that's very interesting matter that uh, you have spent a lot of time writing a paragraph you uh, uh, invest in a huge labor uh, collecting information you have studied a lot to write uh, uh, or to have preparation but finally your paragraph is no more interesting the reader don't feel comfortable to read your paragraph so your all efforts all attempts will go in vain all right this is our usual task you know uh, that is a uh, vocabulary box this is our uh, usual task and uh, when we uh, experience a new lesson of course we pick some new words so it is our uh, duty to pick the new words and to learn and to understand and to uh, try to uh, transfer uh, our knowledge to others uh, knowing that very new words okay we will try to explore the very uh, new words and try to transmit it okay try to share it with our friends so that it can um, graft in our mind okay all right uh, this is our usual practice also uh, group discussion and uh, in today's lesson you have a topic of group discussion that is how do you feel correcting your writing task using software online okay okay all right dear students we have learned how you can use a correcting software editing or uh, finding mistakes or to make it a good one so I think that uh, it is very interesting uh, and uh, it uh, uh, helps 
uh, it helps to develop our confidence okay while you go for writing task all right uh, go for the next uh, slide that is homework this is also a very usual task and usually each and every lecture we go for uh, a writing task that is we go for writing a paragraph or something else like that so you see um, today you have a writing task also and uh, that is advantage and disadvantage of using correction software in learning uh, language okay advantage and disadvantage of using correction software in learning uh, language here you have to uh, apply the technique of writing that is contrast and comparison okay remember this and you just uh, develop your paragraph edit yourself manually first then go for building uh, confidence you can put it to the uh, correction software uh, and uh, one, applying one more steps you may have a good piece of writing okay all right you see okay uh, dear students uh, if you want to watch this uh, if you want to enjoy this class once more of course you have to keep watching and get connected with uh, www.skills.gov.gov.bd okay so keep watching all right we are at the end of the session so time is getting off dear students i have got to get going have a good day and take care thanks for watching or enjoying my lecture online and uh, hope for the best to see you next okay thank you